Welcome to Fact Friday. I'm Alex Graham, and today I'm going to be answering some of your most commonly asked questions about Kinetosense. One of the questions I get a fair amount is, is CAMS for everybody? Now, I'll be the first to admit, CAMS is fantastic for athletes, and I think a lot of people see that and tend to think it's an athletic assessment. That being said, CAMS was designed to be a general population functional movement assessment. Every movement we've chosen out of those 12 movements that happen in CAMS are all research and evidence-based. With the exception of the vertical jump, which unfortunately the research around the scoring is based on NCAA athletes, um, but there are no other normative values for general population. All the other movements though, so the other 10 movements, are based on general population. So I would recommend that CAMS is applicable for everyone. If there is a movement you don't think your client can do, there's two ways I like to approach this. The first is we could say, you know what, give it your best attempt, and if we score a zero or we score a 5%, that's okay, because I'm missing that function, and my score should reflect that. Or if that's not your opinion and you'd like to do it another way, you can actually choose to skip a movement. So if you have your client stand in frame and you hit start stop, they'll get a zero, and that will affect their score and their mapping. If you have your client stand out of the frame and hit start stop, it will give you a did not complete. That will not affect your total score or your mapping. So you have those two options to you to customize CAMS to meet your client's needs and what you're looking for as a practitioner. So there you have it. CAMS, as much as it's great for athletes, it's great for everybody.